What's up guys? Jesse, Alt 104.5. I'm backstage with Matt from Mount Joy. We were just talking about the Sixers. What the F? Uh, no words. No words. I but think this is a long time coming to start around here, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like they kind of scapegoated him. I feel like everybody needs to go. If Brett's gonna go, everybody's gotta go. I think you're right. All right, let's uh, let's go into the album, Rearrange Us. Now, you did something interesting. You guys wrote something, I loved it on your Twitter. You were like, hey, we, were, we wanted to put out an album during the pandemic. We want people to feel this. But what happened with George Floyd was a reason why we didn't want to put the album out. We wanted to delay it. Didn't end up getting to delay it. Can you go into that a little bit and explain that? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, you know, basically, I think, tragically, um, George Floyd was murdered on a Thursday, I believe, or a Friday, and our album was set to come out the next week. And we immediately called and just were like, well, it doesn't feel right for us to put music out or be promoting folk music right now. Uh, and it certainly didn't feel right. And uh, But unfortunately, basically, the response was that you know, this stuff's already in the stores, it's gonna go live, there's nothing, you could set, you could basically not put it out, but it's still gonna be out there, people are gonna listen to it. So we decided to try to make the best of that situation and, you know, just put our heads together and decided to donate all of the sales for the first week of our record to um, try to help police reform and, and try to make things better. And we felt like, you know, in the absence of maybe making, not making noise or not wanting to make noise, at least we could try to make the situation a little bit better. Uh, a lot of artists would probably be afraid to do something like that. I think that what you guys wrote was super profound and I loved that. Um, I have random questions to now ask you. Uh, whose idea was it with the text line? Whose phone number is it? Is it going directly to you? How is this working? Um, I, don't, I don't know whose idea it was. It, it, was, um, it was brought up to us and it's actually funny that they, uh, the company that, that supports it is it's like it basically does come to our phone it's an app so you can open it and really get lost in it it's cool to see everyone sending us messages and when they pitch it to us they, they made us follow jennifer lopez so i still get text messages from jennifer lopez being like you know various updates and i appreciate that so you should also uh i guess text jennifer lopez that's amazing okay can you tell us the number one more time for anybody out there listening Oh my God! Do you even know it? I don't know it. Like, damn. Okay, it's, uh, it's pinned on top of Mount Joy's Twitter. You can find it over there. Um, who is writing the idea tweets? That was me. Are you going to turn that into something? There might be something there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, usually, like if you're high and you come up with an idea, you forget it the next day, anyway. So maybe I, I should have thought of that. Tweet it or turn it into a idea podcast because I love it. Um, what are we What are we doing about this show? When you heard about this show, these are historical shows. I mean, what's going on in the music industry right now, the business? This is a, a crazy time. We all got hit really hard, and these are really important shows. When you were approached about this show, did you think how are we going to make it work? How is the concept? Were you freaked out a little bit, or how are you feeling? I guess we sort of have the opposite approach, uh, where it's like, you know, we haven't been able to play a show since March, and they came and offered us a show and uh, in our hometown. And for us, like, you know, is it is it perfect or the way we normally do it? No, but to, to you know, as a world and as, as a country and as a city to go through what we've gone through, uh, you kind of don't sweat the small stuff anymore. Like, we're, we got a chance to play a show, and we're excited to do that. Love that. Okay, any surprises tonight? Any covers? Any songs that have to do with cars or drive-ins or any songs by the cars? Uh, there's a specific anniversary uh, today, which I guess is a clue, and we're gonna we're gonna pull something out for it. Matt, we're so excited. Congrats on the new album. Um, thank you for now interviewing me and being so amazing, and we'll see you on stage very shortly. Backstage with Matt from Mount Joy. Jesse with you, Alt 104.5. Thank you very much.